Hi, I'm Carl Kiefer. I'm president of the Illinois Coin Laundry Association. And I'm presenting today to let people be aware in the state of Illinois of a couple issues that uh, could be detrimental to our business, the coin laundry industry, uh, within Illinois. Uh, one is House Bill 174, specifically Amendment 2 to House Bill 174. Uh, it's an education funding bill that uh, introduces services, a number of services, uh, to be taxed. Uh, of course, the coin laundry uh, business that providing coin laundry would be one of those services taxed. We, uh, the other bill uh, is the cap and trade bill uh, that's already passed the House of Representatives that has uh, been reported to increase our utilities significantly. Uh, gas, uh, they're projecting a 55% increase and electricity a 90% uh, increase uh, in cost on those on that uh, bill there if, it, if it's uh, to pass also the Senate. The, uh, but let me address specifically the House Bill 174, Amendment 2. Uh, that has passed the Senate uh, here in uh, Illinois and has now been put down to the uh, recommended to go into the Rules Committee and the House of Representatives. It's been there since August of 2009 and uh, it presently resides there. Uh, we're concerned about this uh, bill because it will uh, impose a prevailing tax uh, on laundromats for your, your uh, particular uh, municipality. Uh, Cook County, for example, is a 10.25% tax. Uh, Downers Grove, uh, where I reside, it's an 8% tax. So, uh, but that's to, to put a, a sales tax on services such as coin laundry. The Illinois Coin Laundry Association has uh, moved forward with uh, lobbying efforts uh, to try to educate legislators uh, on the, the effects of this tax on our consumers, which we believe are the hardest working people uh, that um, uh, should not endure yet another uh, tax on them. Uh, unlike other industries where uh, they can um, collect a tax, uh, this becomes a gross receipts tax and really goes on to the business owners uh, in effect. Uh, this affects uh, multifamily housing as well as coin laundry operators. Uh, I wanted to make uh, our members uh, via, via this uh, broadcast uh, aware of this issue and uh, ask that you uh, pass this information on to your patrons so that uh, all of us can contact our uh, respective uh, representatives and state senators to let them know that we do not need another tax um, especially on the hardest working people such as coin laundry patrons and customers. The, um, um, we will be uh, forwarding a uh, petition uh, out for uh, laundry uh, owners to gain signatures. I'd ask that you return that as quickly as possible so we can forward that on to uh, uh, given districts, uh, your district representatives. Uh, but we'd like to collect them here so that we have uh, here at the Coin Laundry Association uh, so that uh, we have an aggregate count of uh, signatures uh, on these petitions. Uh, we appreciate your support in this effort, and if you need any further information, please do contact the Illinois Coin Laundry Association and, or ask for my uh, uh, information, and I'll be happy to talk with you uh, on either one of these uh, bills. Uh, appreciate the support and uh, being able to take this opportunity to, to address this issue.